My company is an innovative organization, constantly striving to live up to our company motto, we build it better. In laboratory operations, building it better requires us to innovate our methodology. In addition to new technology, tools, software, our ability to innovate also relies on looking at what we're currently doing and asking ourselves, how can this be better? How can we be better scientists? How can we do things better? In this case, we were changing our enrichment strategy for pathogen screening, which drove us to evaluate new enrichment media, new liquid handling options, workflow schema, and enrichment vessels. As we were developing a new enrichment strategy, we determined that our current enrichment vessel, a hard polycarbonate screw capped bottle, was not just a high cost, but it was a waste of plastic and a waste of space. These bottles couldn't be stacked or compacted during storage before and after use. This would limit both storage space in our warehouse before testing and space in our biohazard waste disposal containers after testing was completed. A plastic bag would reduce plastic by reducing rigidity and bags store well while compacted. Whirlpack's a well-known name in the laboratory. We had experience before with Whirlpack stand-up bags and those bags fitted our needs. Our experience with Whirlpack bags helped us to build trust with the analysts bearing the changes in the methodology. We didn't do any math to calculate the cost benefit from a switch from plastic bottles to plastic bags. The switch was part of a new methodology for pathogen testing, which has saved us in total $120,000 per year in the US. On an annual basis, using the metrics from our US sites, we save over 2,000 kilograms, more than two metric tons of plastic waste per year. This is plastic that would otherwise be in a landfill as biohazardous waste can't be recycled. So we use a liquid handler to dispense enrichment media for pathogen screening into the Whirlpack stand-up bags. This requires us to use a storage Tupperware, which is something that we got at the grocery store. It's meant for storing spaghetti. And we use it to hold the bag in place on the liquid handler. 15 bucks. No change in laboratory operations goes unnoticed. And most changes, not all, but most, will have critical Initially, the concept of a bag was at odds with what the laboratory was expecting, as the analysts had an innate assumption that rigid containers were required as an enrichment vessel. However, when we incorporated the bags, it fit better into laboratory workflow and actually provided tangible benefits to the analysts regarding storage space and ease of use. The growing pains here were minimal as the benefits were large.